Hey guys and gals, boys and girls, hope you are having a fantastic day. Tim here, back on YouTube, and today we are continuing our discussion, and by discussion I mean me talking, uh, of how to uh, hook up an external monitor for a DSLR camera uh, so you can actually see what the heck you're shooting. Now, if you uh, are not up to speed, I've done a couple of videos uh, on how to do this. And the reason is I had uh, had been using this wonderful Canon. Uh, it is a Rebel T5. And the only issue that I had with it was it did not have a flip out screen and it didn't have an external mic either, but that's another video. Uh, so when I was using the camera, I couldn't see myself. And when you look like this, <laughs> you want to see yourself. So um, I'm using a 70D now with a flip out screen. But what I'm going to show you uh, today, I'm actually going to do for both of these cameras. So I've been looking for a way to hook up an external monitor uh, to the T5. And I didn't want to spend uh, any money or not much money at all. And so in the previous videos, I was showing you how to use a program called Digicam Control, and it is a program for Windows PC. You download it, you put it on your, your tablet, you put it on your computer, and you can hook your camera to it. It works with Canon, Nikon, some Sonys, and all of a sudden you've got an external monitor, which is very handy. Now, you can use the external monitor just as a monitor, or you can actually control the camera from uh, the uh, the program itself. So if you didn't see the video, there's two of them on Digicam Control. Go watch those now. What I'm going to talk about now is how to use an Android tablet. Remember Android tablets a few years ago? These things were going for two or three hundred bucks. Hello, can you hear me now? Uh, I got this one for forty. Uh, it's a uh, a next gen. And you can also get them on eBay anywhere from 25 bucks and up. Now, I didn't want anything fancy, although this is a pretty fancy one. Um, I just wanted something that I could use as a monitor and an external controller. So what you're going to need is an Android tablet, and then you're going to need an app called DSLR Controller. You can find it on the Play Store. It costs uh, $7.99 and I think worth every penny. And what you're going to do is you are going to run a cable from your camera to your tablet and use DSLR controller to control the camera. Now, besides a camera and the uh, Android tablet, you are going to need the video out cable that you uh, should have gotten with your camera. Make sure you've got a really good cable. Uh, one thing I've noticed, I, I bought some cables from China a while back and none of them worked. They were uh, a lot cheaper, but get good cables if you're going to do video. So this is the cable that came with the Canon. And then you're going to need an adapter because when you come out of the Canon, it is a USB. So you are going to need an adapter. And these are a couple of bucks online. I think five or six at Best Buy. And this is what's going to take the USB out from the camera into a mini USB into the Android tablet. All right, so what I want to do now is jump over, uh, uh, set up a, a little different uh, uh, scenario here for you where you can actually see uh, how this all hooks together and how it works. So let's do that right now. Okay, I've got everything set up here. I'm going to show you how this works exactly. Now, again, if you go to the Play Store and get DSLR controller, I don't know if that's going to focus that close or not. Uh, that is the app that you're going to need to make this work. It's $7.99, and I think worth every penny because it's really made things a lot simpler for me. You install the DSLR controller on your Android app. Then you use the digital cable from the camera plugged into the adapter, which goes into the Android device. Now, when I turn the camera on, and I'm going to set this up on this little tripod for you. So when I turn the camera on, it automatically connected to the program. Let me adjust this. All right. So you can see that this is the image that is coming from the Rebel T5i. Now, this to me works great. You can use it just as a uh, a monitor, which is what I'll do. I will put it on the front of the tripod, and so the tripod can be feet away from me, and I'll be able to actually see my face. Uh, you can also control 
the camera with this. I don't know if I can get a good angle on this, but you can see it's got a number of controls. For example, if you want to set the ISO, there's an ISO button where you can actually change the ISO setting on the camera. You can change the aperture setting. Very convenient. You can also uh, really do a lot of different things. Everything you can control on the camera, the ISO, the aperture, the white balance, there's the auto white balance. You can control from this Android tablet running DSLR controller. Now, there are a lot of other things you can do. You can actually record from this. You can take pictures from this. If I wanna click on the live view, it's gonna take me to live. I can capture a still photograph if I want. And there's the photograph. I can download that to uh, my computer if I wanna do a quick thumbnail. Uh, I can go back into the program. And again, there's a lot you can do with this. I do encourage you to get this and then play with it, see what you can come up with. I'm trying to get it where there's no glare on it for you. Um, but again, you can change the ISO setting, you can change the aperture, you can change uh, everything that you can control on a camera practically with this. So again, I am simply using it as a monitor, but you can use it to actually control. I know one guy on YouTube uh, is using this app with um, Android devices uh, to do remote control of his cameras. His cameras are in one room and he is in another room with a very long cord. You can also set this up wireless, not something that I know how to do or will need to do. So anyway, that's it. Apologies for the glare, but that is the way that it would look. So get on over to uh, the App Store and get DSLR controller and give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. If you find this helpful, uh, let me know. Also, if you find other apps that do the same thing, I would love to know about them. All right, guys, I hope you found that helpful. Again, the uh, app is DSLR Controller. You can get it through the App Store or uh, Google Play Store. It's $7.99. Uh, again, you do not need a really super-duper fancy Android tablet, uh, just a uh, the most basic because you're really not storing anything on it. You're just using it as a monitor or as a controller, and you do need, uh, they call this an, an OTG, an on-the-go adapter. And I'll put links to all of this stuff uh, down below. You know, if you buy this off my affiliate link, I make like 14 cents. If I sell enough of those, I might get a cup of Starbucks. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, do me a favor, click that subscribe button right down there. And when you click subscribe, if you click on the bell, uh, you'll be notified every time that I do a video like this. And uh, I do them quite often. We talk about tech. We're doing tutorials, reviews, also talking about business and publishing. Hell, I'll talk about anything if you'll go spend $2 on, on this for me, all right? Anyway, subscribe, like, ring my bell. Hope it was helpful, and I'll see you on the next video.